Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, I thought it was time for an update on the Luba robotic lawnmower. I've had it for a few weeks now. There's a reason why I haven't given you a review yet, and let me explain. So if you haven't watched the uh, original video of me installing it on this property, I'll link that down below so you can check it out. But there is quite the amount of grass out here. Now they have three acres, which goes from the street out there all the way through those trees and into the about where that white car, that's a neighbor's white car, but our property goes almost all the way to it. You might ask, why am I not ready to give a review of the Luba? My parents recently got their internet upgraded to fiber. Yay, fiber, super fast, a lot cheaper than the cable, so that's good. Except they installed the stuff and left it just dangling. So we got, uh, ten, it goes from a box there on the edge of the house and let me show you so it goes from a box there at the edge of the house all the way out here and then we got some of it spoiled up here we got tons of fiber cable but it goes all the way to the box on the street there you go can you see that so that's the box on the street and i have all this cable just strung across the yard that they have not come to bury yet. I can't obviously, I can't have the Luba running out here with a cable running across the yard. So I just uh, turned it off and there it has set for like at least the last two weeks. I haven't really used it. I did take it to the back one day last week and found out an interesting problem with the bump sensors or the sonic sensors uh, i did make a short video about it you can check that out so what we're going to do today people have been itching for updates on the luba because it's a the new thing coming out and everybody wants content over it and to see how it does so what i'm going to do i'm going to remap the front yard i'm going to delete what i have and i'm going to remap it so it avoids where the cable is laying over there and I'm going to tell it to just mow this half of the front yard. And another thing y'all have been asking for is a time lapse. So this is a lot out here. I'm going to set up a time lapse camera. And we're going to watch it cut this whole front yard and see how long it takes. Now it does seem to charge pretty quickly over there on the charger. So it definitely won't be able to do it in one go. But we're going to see how long it takes for it to charge and resume. There's my dad over there. He's riding the Cub Cadet Electric, so he's able to sneak around the lawn and nobody really hears him in the background. Those are super nice because they don't make the loud noises that the gas versions make. We've had that for about two seasons now. Seems pretty good. But let's get to remapping this front yard and I will get you a time lapse of the Luba doing its thing. Here comes the Luba. He's about to start mowing the front yard. Now I know we don't have the perfect grass out here. I get lots of crap in the comments. My dad likes what he likes. He just likes it cut short. So that's what we do out here. We live in the country. There's no reason to have a prize winning lawn here. So there goes the luba it's gonna start and i will get the time lapse camera running hear it oh there he is and there he goes behind the trees I heard him for a while but I couldn't find him 
Well, I guess I just barely missed seeing it go around the tree. It's going a little quicker than I thought it was. So it didn't actually touch the tree. It just got close to it. Now let's see what it does. Well, it's making a pretty wide arc around it. And then it's just going to continue on its little way. Alright, he's coming back towards the tree. Let's see what he does this time. Wow, he just slowed way down and got close to it. And now he's just going on. Just wanted to check in real quick. It's doing a pretty good job. It actually makes pretty good lines on the front yard. If you see here, it's got a pretty good looking line action going on. Just had somebody drive down the road and they saw it mowing and came and talked to us about it. <laughs> I wonder if here pretty soon if it'll come on all the way to the, the sidewalk here or if it'll just keep going back and forth. Yeah, exactly what I thought. Now it's going to make long stretches all the way to the sidewalk. So there the Luba goes. We're about halfway done right now with the front yard. Look at those lines. They are awesome. Certainly, certainly is a benefit to have GPS. I don't think I could make lines that straight if I was just mowing it myself. Here we are, it is 3.23, Luba's down to 22%. I am getting the warning now that it's gonna automatically recharge when it falls below 15%. It says there's about 95 minutes remaining at this point. Let me flip over and I will show y'all where we're at. And here's where we are currently. Still looking good, but it's just about time for it to go recharge and then we'll see how long that takes. All right, it looks like it's uh, coming home to recharge. It's gonna go to its little house over there. It is 3.39 right now. So we'll see, it'll probably be 3.40 by the time it plugs in and starts charging. Man, he is dirty. It's lining up, probably using IR sensors. And there it goes. So it is charging and it's uh, 340. It's been exactly 30 minutes since I checked in with y'all and it has recharged up to 54%. But you can see here on the map that it shows a little pause symbol that it's recharging and it's planning on resuming in this area as soon as it finishes recharging. So. It's been 30 minutes and we're up to 54%. So it's been charging now for exactly an hour. You can see there 440 and we are up to 68%. So it does uh, slow down towards the top of the battery pack, kind of just like a, a real electric vehicle. They don't charge as fast at the top as they do at the bottom. So it's still charging and I will let you know how much longer until it resumes. I'm just sitting here waiting for it to finish charging and uh oh, where'd it go? Yeah, that's right. It's already out there in the middle of the yard and I didn't even notice when it took off. It is a uh, 510 right now. So it's been gone at least five minutes to get all the way out there, but I didn't even notice and I was just sitting right here just uh waiting for it and i was watching tiktok completely missed it
but there it goes. It's back in business. Let's see what happens when it goes through this kind of pile of grass. It went through it pretty good, and it kind of spread it out a little bit. It is finished. This is what the yard looks like now completely done looks nice lawnmower looks pretty dirty it is 628 is the current time right now but look how dirty this guy is i don't know if i'm allowed to spray him off with water but he stays outside when it rains anyway i'll just sprinkle him maybe i'll just use the leaf blower that'll probably be safer we're gonna let him get back on his house here and then I'm going to have him start mowing the backyard, but I'm going to do that after he recharges for a little bit. I guess he's going to start on that back corner back there because he hasn't even made a outline all the way around yet. Literally just now starting. I probably won't stay for the whole mow. It's at 128 minutes, I think, and it's uh, 6.58. I don't think it'll be able to finish the whole backyard anyway. So I'm just going to stay for a little bit and then I'm going to call it an episode. I think we've had a pretty good amount of Luba content today. Look how dirty that thing is. Man of living. Needs a bath. I told it to mow it two inches. So it's, it's not mowing as low as it was in the front yard. So uh, it might not have a lot to mow here in the backyard. Yeah, it is cutting a little bit. Cutting the weeds. So we'll let this go for a while and I'll check back in with y'all in 20 or 30 minutes. You're crazy. You're crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to come over here and show you. It just went around a tall weed. So it's cutting pretty tall, so it's hard to tell where it's been. But you can see right here, this weed here, it just went around. I'm going to pull it up. Stupid weed. He's got the zoomies. You got the zoomies? He's got the zoomies. It just went around this one again. Right there, that tall weed, it wouldn't go over it. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. It got, oh, it didn't get it. Come on, back over it. It almost got it. I guess I'm gonna have to help it. Somebody told me Somebody said there was a setting you can change somewhere, but I didn't receive an instruction manual, and I'm not sure where to find the PDF version yet, but I'm going to look into that. 
somehow you can make the sensors not as sensitive so it'll run stuff over but I haven't found the answer to that yet it's dragging a stick let's see if we can uh, extract that here I'm gonna step on it <laughs> saved it that is one of the downfalls of this backyard is there's gonna be lots of sticks so not super ideal for the little luba but it's coping for the most part just had a had a few incidents so far get that stick what what are you gonna do with it <laughs> are you gonna eat it are you gonna eat that whole stick I think the robot's gonna get you You just want to tear it up, don't you? You don't want to eat it. You're just tearing it up. <laughs> You're just being destructive. Duck, are you going to be a live test of the sensors? <laughs> I guess not. I said his name and he got up. I was trying to put that in the trash. <laughs> You're just making it in smaller pieces. You're making it harder for me to pick it up. No, I see. I'm trying to put this in the cart. I'm going to put this in the cart. Ah. <laughs> Gosh. I'm going to get it. I, I, I Don't dig in Papa's yard. Don't you dig in Papa's yard. Didn't I tell you not to dig? Oh, don't come over here at me. So we're going to go ahead and call it an episode for today. It's uh, getting dark and it's not going to finish before it gets dark. Plus it's about to go recharge anyway. So thanks for watching this Luba update video. And I will keep an eye on it and I will continue to make updates and let you know how things are going in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.